Having once had as many as half a million brothers, including Sir Winston Churchill, membership has fallen to around 190,000. Behind this huge front door lies the Freemasons London headquarters. And this summer, they're going to open up a new cafe and bar to the public for the first time. They say they want to be more transparent and they want to attract younger members. Dr. David Staples is the head of the organization. And since taking up the role of CEO in 2017, he's been tasked with dispelling what he calls the misrepresentation of Freemasonry, as well as modernizing it for new generations. Well, we've been on a journey really for the last uh, couple of years or so to invite the public into the world of the Freemasons, um, who we are, what we do. And one of the key markers of that has been the launch of our annual report. And in it, it talks about the sorts of things that we've been perhaps not known for for three centuries, but we've been getting on and doing. And in particular, we've talked about our need and uh, desire to attract younger people to uh, become Freemasons. We've done some polling recently which actually shows that the under 35 year olds are actually very, very keen on us. Um, they synergize with our um, things that we think are important, integrity, respect, charity and friendship. And uh, these are universal values which uh, I think you work very, very well. The Freemasons say men of any race, faith, age, class or political persuasion are welcome. Although there are two Grand Lodges or factions of the Society for Women, it is still predominantly a men's club and all prospective members must go through three symbolic initiation ceremonies. These younger members say they feel part of a global fraternity.